Compelling evidence of the mega tsunami that was generated by the Burkel Crater impact event exists along every major coastline in the Indian Ocean. This is a segment taken from the full video, which documents the damage, deposition, and evidence left over from this mega tsunami event, starting from Indonesia and going to Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, Oman, Yemen, Somalia, Madagascar, and finally concluding in South Africa. The link to this can be found in the description below. This is part of a documentary series that also has full videos of the impact this mega tsunami caused to Australia and Antarctica. The links to these will also be found below. If you'd like to see an extended version of this episode made, please click the like button to let me know. I'd be more than happy to dig into this more in depth, if people are keen to see it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Part 5. Madagascar and South Africa If there's one place I wouldn't want to have been when this impact event occurred, it was Madagascar. And the reasoning for this is, well, this. This is truly a site where the land was drastically changed overnight more than anywhere else that we've covered. Now, chevrons exist all along the southern and eastern coastlines of Madagascar, but let's get straight to the good stuff. The most famous group of chevrons is known as the Fenimbosi chevron. It's 180 metres high. The same tears that we saw all across Australia occurs alongside it. And these chevrons are very similar to the ones that we just saw in Pakistan. I mean, check out this massive chevron slide. It's exactly the same as the ones that we saw in Western Australia, which is truly remarkable for the fact that the wave had barely lost any of its power by the time it hit Australia. These chevrons contain an abundance of carbonate marine microfossils, that have been deposited along strike distances of between 12 to roughly 40 kilometers. These microfossils differ from those that dominate local beach deposits, as they are of a deep sea origin and are also fused with alien metals from the meteorite. Many tests have been done and scientists have more or less reached the conclusion that these chevrons are of mega tsunami origin. And now we're approaching our final destination, South Africa. This area is a bit more lush than Madagascar, but you can still see the outlines from it near the shorelines. There's been human interference here, but man, this area was definitely not spared one bit. Chevrons stretch very, very far inland and en masse across the entirety of the South African coastline, stretching from the east to the furthest point down south. Now this part of Africa is quite flat, so the mega tsunami just pushed its way inland with ease decimating everything in its way in a matter of seconds. They just keep going and going and going, with their direction on point in regards to the location of the epicenter and a characteristic V-shape witnessed in every formation. This ain't no Aeolian process, guys. This is a mass of chevrons deposited by a major asteroid impact. Truly terrifying stuff to witness. So this is the end of this video. Better way to end this epic journey than to finish right here at the southernmost point of Africa, where the damage finally ends. This very long gash is one of probably hundreds of points of evidence that I've provided for the Burkle Crater impact event. In this massive documentary series, we have journeyed from the southern tip of Tasmania through to Victoria, South Australia, and then Western Australia, looking at every single point along the coastline. We then took a look at Antarctica, and in this episode, I provided you with a great deal of evidence to support the fact that the Burkle Crater impact event was one that certainly happened, and evidence is everywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It's been a very long, intriguing, and epic journey. Just a heads up, I'll be combining all episodes into one long documentary. So these are the chevrons deposited all around the globe from the catastrophic Burkle Crater meteorite impact a truly terrifying, nightmarish situation that I honestly couldn't even fathom. But this event did happen, and events like it, and worse than it, will be repeated in the future. And the only way we can defend ourselves is by arming ourselves with knowledge. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see the full video, please do check the links down below for either it or the videos on our episodes that cover Australia or Antarctica. Thanks for watching.